Guys, my name is Bhushan. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our previous lecture, we have displayed our records in our list students GSP. So in this lecture, let's look at the delete and update operation. So before that, let's add a button here. That is whenever the user clicks on this button, it has to add a new record, which means it has to go to the add student JSP. So let's do that. We'll go back to our Eclipse, Eclipse IDE and open up your um, list student JSP and above your table after your heading, let's add a paragraph tag. So inside the paragraph, let's create a button. So for this button, we will use the on click attribute. So for this on click attribute, we will specify window dot location dot href is equal to and we will specify the request mapping that is add student and return false. Alright, save this and uh, within the button let's specify text that is add student. Save this and go back to our browser and reload the page. Go back to our uh, click here to list students and uh, let's click on this add student and it is going to the add student JSP. So in the same way we have to specify a link here at the bottom of your table. So whenever the user clicks on this link it has to go back to the least student JSP. So let's do that. Go back to our Eclipse IDE. Open your add student JSP. So at the bottom of your table after the forum let's create an anchor tag. And within the anchor tag let's specify href. So here uh, we will specify the request mapping that is least students. And let's specify the text. Click here to go. Click here to go for list of students. Save this and go back to your browser and let's reload the page. Go back to our add student and at the bottom you will get the link. Click here to go for list of students. Click on this. Come back to the list students JSP. All right, in list. Students JSP after the address column, let's include one more column that is action. So in the action, we will include update and delete links. So go back to our Eclipse IDE and after the address column, specify one more column that is action. And after the address update delete. So this is a simple text just to confirmation. So copy this. So let's go back to our browser and reload the page. All right, we're getting an update and delete text. Now we have to turn these texts into a link. For that, go back to our Eclipse IDE. And here inside the for each, let's create a URL using a JSTL tag, C colon URL. And for this URL, we will specify a variable that is update link you can give any name you want but it's always recommend to give a meaningful names and we will specify one more attribute that is value so value we will specify the request mapping that is update record so inside this uh, url we will specify a param using a jstl tags c colon param so the parameter name student id and we will specify the value as dollar student dot id so save this and in the same way let's do it for uh, delete also paste it one more time and we'll change the variable to delete link delete link and here i will change it to delete record all right that's it now here i will include these update and delete in inside the anchor tags and i will specify the href href i will specify the variable names that is update link paste it here for the delete i will specify a href and the value I would specify this variable name that is delete link. Copy this and using a el expression language we will specify the variable name. So save this. Now go back to our browser and reload the page. 
so what I did is inside these two links I have embedded the student ID so whenever I hover a mouse on these update or delete link you can see the student ID in the status bar so if you observe here whenever I, whenever I hover a mouse to these records you can see the student ID the delete also we have included the student ID so whenever I click the delete button or delete link or update link using the student ID we will send the student ID to a controller so in the controller we will accept that student ID and we will uh, send it to a DAO and we will interact with the delete and update operations this is the whole idea of this video so in our next video we will write our controller part so thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video